this story is called, Did He Really Just Say That? And it's really two short stories put together to illustrate uh, an important lesson. About 12 or 13 years ago, I was teaching fourth grade. And I had a student who had a really hard time with uh, classroom rules and getting his work in on time and profanity. And when I say that, he didn't have a hard time, didn't have a, a hard time saying the words. The problem was he was using profanity both in the classroom and out on the playground. And I was seeing this behavior a lot at the very beginning of the year. And we had our parent conference at the beginning of the year. And I was going to take an opportunity at that face-to-face -face conference to communicate my concerns. So the conference came. Student came with the parent. And the student was off to the side of the classroom, sitting on the couch I had in my classroom reading a book while I conferenced with the parent. And I was communicating my concerns about not getting his work in on time and using profanity. And as soon as I said those concerns, the parent turned to her student and said, hey, what the boop boop are you doing not getting your work in on time? And what the boop are you doing using bad words on the playground? And at that point, I remember thinking, okay. Fast forward to story number two. I'm now an assistant principal. And one of the big parts of my job is handling student discipline. And I had a situation where I had a student who had said something completely inappropriate to another student. I mean, really, really bad. I'm not going to say what it was, but it would make most people blush. It was, it was horrible. And I dealt with the situation. I issued student discipline. And then it came time to contact the parent and let him know about what had happened and um, inform him of the consequence that had been assigned because of that behavior. And I remember getting the parent on the phone and having the unpleasant task of relaying what was said. And I remember I told him what the student had said. And I got an unexpected response. Uh, what he said back to me was, quote, and why is that against school rules? End quote. And once again, I remember thinking, okay. And these two stories, along with really countless other instances that I'm sure you have also had, reminded me of an extremely important lesson and really a reminder that we need to keep in our minds. We are not the only teachers of our students. Our students sometimes are products of their environment. And many of our students, when they go home, we only have our kids for six and a half hours a day. And many of our students, when they leave, they may be surrounded by profanity. They may have, be, they may have brothers or sisters or maybe even parents who are not necessarily modeling the most appropriate behavior. And we have to remember that and be patient with them as we work with them. Now, please don't misunderstand me. I'm not saying that we excuse inappropriate behavior, but we have to remember, and like I said, be patient. Hey, when we think, I can't believe he just did that or just said that, if that's all they're seeing and that's all they're hearing, it's really not a surprise that some of these kids say and do the things that they do. So remember, we're not their only teachers. Thanks for watching.